Jeff Nowak alongside Bobby A. Bear. We're going to chat with Peyton Turner here. You know, Peyton, one of the things that stood out to me for you throughout this camp is you've been here every day. It seems like the health is really on your side this year. How has that kind of helped you just get into the flow of things a little better this offseason? Uh, I mean, I've talked about it earlier this offseason, just having that routine. Um, I feel like I've got a good routine of taking care of my body, taking care of what needs to be taken care of for me to go out there and feel good at practice and then for me to go out there and feel good at game day. So as far as me being healthy, just giving me the opportunity to go out here and actually work on my craft rather than worry about uh, my, you know, uh, my oblique. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't really know if I can really do this rep today. You know, I don't know if I can do this rep today. And then, you know, being able to go out there and trust my body on game day because I've been able to do it throughout all the practice, I think has just helped me have success on the field. Now, uh, you know, Peyton, you were talking about earlier about uh, making a priority to stop the run. And, you know, you'll be challenged the very first game against Derrick Henry, you know, and the Titans because they're going to be coming downhill. But I was talking with uh, Coach Allen, and also you'll probably address this in the meeting room because the quarterback yards, they do count also against the run. It, it, I, just break that down maybe what you went on and like in the meeting room about containment and uh, being aware of also, uh, you know, not letting the quarterback get out the pocket and, and having successful runs. Yeah, I mean, that's a bunch of hidden yardage, right? Um, you know, you see you see, 5.1 a carry. How many of those yards came from a scramble? Um, so, I mean, it's an emphasis on rush lanes and being able to be a smart player um, while you're rushing, right? So, you know, you got a quarterback that likes to step up and go out to his right and throw. You got quarterbacks that like to step up in the A's and, and get out and run. Um especially like the down and distance is also a factor, you know. So um, just being smarter with our rush lanes and being smarter with our rush plan, I think is the biggest thing that we've, we've talked about because there's a lot of yardage that, you know, you get them in, I don't even remember what we had them, third and long or something. Right. It, you know, we had, a, we had them in a, you know, advantageous position for defense, right? And then we mix up our rush lanes a little bit, quarterback steps up, he's out for 20 yards, whatever it may be. So, um, and the longest yards of the day, I think, came, Two quarterback runs, right, if, I'm right, not, if I'm not mistaken. So, just um, having an emphasis on rushing smarter and knowing where we're at with our rush and who's rushing where, right? So, you know, I got a fast three tech that likes to eat that B up. Probably not going to work an inside move. Might ha- work him up the field on a speed speed rush. Doesn't come clean. I'm coming back under. So, just working together and like it, it's just more reps. You know, more reps with Brian, more reps with Colin, more reps with uh, you know all the interior guys that we got. Roach. Um, and just getting accustomed to how each different person rushes. Now, uh, Peyton, as far as uh, being in the rotation, and uh, I always say this to the fans that, hey, listen, it doesn't matter when you come into the game because you're a starter on that play, mm-hmm. and then they count. So whether you know, you're getting 25 snaps, 40 snaps, whatever it might be, uh, that when you're in there, they're counting on you as a starter. So have they maybe talked to you yet about uh, the rotation or it could be a game plan, how you're being utilized, uh, you know, whether it's down and distance or, you know, first down? Because there's been a lot of competition and, and how he's grown as a player. You, you're aware of that, Carl Grandison, and how he's grown. And, you know, competition is, is good for everybody, and you want to keep everybody fresh. And the point being um, – is that the mentality that, look, when you're in there, that you're a starter even though you might not be on that first defensive snap? Uh, I think the mentality is going there and make a play, right? Um, that's something that uh, Grantham's been emphasizing, just go out there and make plays. And um, I think it's something DA's been mentioning too when he's talking about we want a highly conditioned team, right? So being able to go out there and be fresh every time you're out there. Every time you're out there, there's an opportunity for you to make a play. Uh, so, I mean, you know, we keep stats. Uh, the D-line room, just the, just the D-line, man, you know what I mean? So we're going in there and we – you play one snap a game and you come back statless. It's still fine. It's still it's right, still right. fine on the D right. line. So I mean, um, whether it's jumping on a pile, contributing, helping in a in a game, uh, a twist game, or whatever it may be, just going out there and trying to help the team make a play. Uh, so I, th- I don't think it's about going out there and and I mean it is going about going out there and just seeing every rep as its own. And going out there and trying to play hard for that for that very rep, but it's also just about going out there and contributing. So I think that's the emphasis. Now, Peyton, how was it um, like practicing against the Chargers, not going against the same people? And obviously, you know the Chiefs and the Chargers, you played a game, and not having that opportunity to practice against the Texans. So you know, you know, you have the the matchup on Sunday. But is that something you welcome just to see? Because the more experience you can get against a different technique oh, yeah. and, and different linemen and so. Yeah, it'd been great to go against the Texans too because they got two solid tackles too, right? So um, every opportunity is its own. Uh, being able to go out there and play them on Sundays, 
as good as getting lining up on Thursday and, and practicing against them. So, except the quarterback's live, you know, so you yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, finish right. So that's the that's the whole idea behind that. But it's always great to get more experience with whoever you're going up against. You know, we've heard all camp force and turnover, force and turnovers, rake at the ball, get the ball out. And obviously you had that strip sack on Easton stick in that game. What did you see on that play? And, you know, how do you feel like that has resonated, that kind of messaging? To, we're forcing turnovers this year. How's that going? Uh, yeah, um, you know, I worked a couple uh, power rushes, outside rushes. And then, um, you know, I felt I felt them not not coming clean every single time, right? So get off the ball, use speed, get his feet running, come up come up under, and then, you know, just make a play on the, on the uh, ball. Um, it's been an emphasis this entire camp, though. It's an emphasis every camp, but I think especially this camp, just given, uh, you know, our lack of turnovers last year and our lack of takeaways. So I think we're doing a really good job about just emphasizing it each day. We come out here punching at the ball, getting the ball out, making it about the ball. So, um, and, and, Peyton, that's what I was going to bring up because, you know, I look back in the day I was playing late 80s, early 90s at all that time frame, where you can hit the quarterback in the head, you can hit him low. Man. Where now you can only between the shoulder and the waist. And always said, and it seems like more defenses are doing this, that uh, just go for the quarterback's arm. Yeah. Not, they can't call a penalty on that. Look how Brock Purdy got hurt. Yeah. Love game, the 49ers, go for the ball, get it out. You know, a lot of times I want to cream the quarterback, but right. you can't do it anymore and just be ball hawking and, Look, you can break his arm. I don't think they got a penalty on that, but, but just knocking the ball, like right. you said, that being a target. Has that been a focus, like uh, targeting, like the position where that ball is to get that out instead of really just trying to plant the quarterback? Yeah, I mean, it's, you, it's so hard to get, you know, knockout shots now on quarterbacks, right? They're so protected. You know, you come home to a $50,000 fine on right. the mail. So <laughs> just making an emphasis on the ball. Yeah, we have worked all the time. We got that blue pad right over there with the with the football in it, um, like a quarterback's throwing it. So that's, that's always an emphasis to go for the ball and uh, – Especially this camp, like I said, just getting the ball out and, and causing takeaways has been a big focus. All right, it's been Jeff Nowak and Bobby Aber chatting with Saints defensive end Peyton Turner. Thanks so much.